Hi, it's Bobby from Fifth Avenue Cakes, and today I thought I would share with you some flower girl baskets that would be adorable for a wedding or a bridal shower. They were my niece's idea. She saw the baskets in the drawer, the cutter in the drawer, and thought they'd be fun to do. So I decided to decorate them with a little bit of needlepoint embroidery. And on this one, we did hearts on both. On this one, we have um, beads going all around. On this one, I did a reverse escrow and inside we painted pansy or I painted pansies and some leaves and a little bit of uh, scroll work so let me share with you how I did this so to finish off our cute little basket I'm going to use a 43 PME close nozzle which is a close star and I'm going to do a rope border around my cookie. I'm using an off-peak consistency, which is a pretty thick consistency, and I'm just doing a rolling motion and going around my, my little basket. Release pressure when you go to turn your cookie. Kind of hang on to the to your rope. Just don't make any pressure or you'll end up with a great big fat belly on your rope. I find it's easier to do it this way than to stop and try and figure out where I started and reconnect. As long as you remember to release your pressure and then bring it back to exactly the exact same pressure you were doing. Before. You want to make sure that your consistency is a nice off peak consistency so you can see all those beautiful uh, combed tine pieces from your nozzle. And I like to go up and around. You probably could go just straight if you wanted to. I like this um, going up and around and down, lifting up and around and down. I think it just gives a really beautiful rope effect to a basket. And then release pressure when you come to the end. If you find that you have a little tail like I do, you can just take your damp brush And fix it. And then the last thing we want to do is add our leaves. And for this, you can pretty much do whatever you want. On one, I did just a border of leaves going, running back and forth. On another, I went and I did them going in different directions. So you'd want to push pressure. The way you know, excuse me, that your leaf tip is fine is that when you push it out, Right here, there's a cut, and it, it almost looks like a little smiley face. That is how you know that you have your leaf, the small little leaf tip pointing in the right direction. And you can have fun with it. Just, you know, like on this one, I'm just going to go in different directions. On the other one, I think I went, I went, um, in a third, so I did three leaves going in different directions. On this one I'm going to do two, and like I said on the other one, I just took the leaves and ran them straight across. Just one row. You want to pr pressure, make your leaf, release pressure, and bring it out. You can make your leaf stand up. You can make your leaf come fall and lay down. It's however you want it to be. I used a gooseberry color for making my royal icing leaves because that's the same color that I used for my pansy leaves. So even though my pansy leaves came out much darker because it went on as a straight pigment rather than going into a egg white based royal icing, it is exactly the same color, just lighter. 
so I knew it would match. So if you if there's a special green you want to use, just make sure that you use it for both your painting and for your real icing. As I was saying with your rope border, there's a couple of different ways you can make the color. You can make a traditionary color or you can use an ivory in Wilton. And that's it. That's how you make a cute little flower girl basket that's cross stitched and painted inside. Well thank you for joining me to see my little flower girl um, baskets and I hope you had a good time in learning some cross stitch and how to paint pansies and do some scroll work. I'll see you next time at Fifth Avenue Cake Designs.